Sixth Mishnah in the eighth chapter of Masechet Menachot. We're going to talk about procurement of the wine for the Korban Menachot. Says the Mishnah, From where would they bring the wine? Kutim v'hatulim al-falayayin. Kutim and hatulim, they're number one for the wine. We don't know where they are. There are you know, places in Midbar Yehuda. Not Midbar, in Yehuda, probably. Okay, that's, uh, that's what uh, Kati says. Shniya lehem, number two, was Beit Rima. Ubeit Lavan Bahar, Beit Rima and Beit Lavan. Those are the good places again. Okay, uh, the Kahati says that they are southwest of Shiloh, near Ramatayim, according to Albeck, wherever that is. Ukvar Sikna Babika. And Kvar Sikna in the valley, that's where they had in the uh, Bika, he says that's uh, the Galilee somewhere. Well, that's where they got good wine from. But Kolar at Sotayuk Sherot, every place was Kasher. Ella Mikani, you may be like like we had the olives, but that's where they would get it from. That was their supplier. And, uh, and uh, and that's where they got the best grapes from for the wine. And maybe in Lomi Beit Hasvalim. So we're going to rip now, like we learned for the for the other um, for the other uh, for the grain and for the olive, same thing. Shouldn't bring from Beit Hasvalim from a from a vineyard that had to be that had to be um, fertilized. Lomi Beit Hashlachim. Beit Hashlachim had to be watered, so therefore it was less irrigated. Lomi Mashin is Rabbi Nehem, and not also from a vineyard where they planted seeds in between, meaning in between the rows of the vineyard. But if you did, then it was okay. And Mivi'in, Ilyustan, Ilyustan Bartinur says, Yayin Matok Machmata Shemesh, sun dried, they would say, they guess they would sun, sun the, some, of the, some of the grapes, and that would make it very sweet. Chetalu Anavim Bashemesh, Limotkan, that they would, ha, they would hang the grapes in the sun to make them sweeter. Shemesh, but the Yavan, Yustan, in Greek, Yustan is the sun. I don't know, I don't speak Greek, but we'll take his word for it. So that's Ilyustan, they would make this wine, the sweet wine. But if you brought it, it's okay. And maybe in Yashan Divei Rebbe, you should bring old wine. Old wine is more than a year. You shouldn't have more than a year old wine. Why? Because it's over It loses its redness. Again, that's how they felt that the wine was it lost some of its redness after a year. For us, the older the wine gets, the more fine it is. That's Rebbe. They didn't argue. They said it's still kasher. And maybe in Lomatok, you shouldn't bring not sweet wine. Lom Ushan. Smoked wine, velom bushal, nor should you bring cooked wine. Ve'im hevi, and if you uh, and if you brought any of those things, then it's pasul. Okay, it's not, it's not, it's not, uh, it's pasul. It's not uh, good for the. These are these are wines that are pasul. Wine yam bushal. We know that's a halacha from from uh, yain nesef. And once it's cooked, it's not considered fine wine anymore. Same thing is like sweetened wine. Sweet wine is gross, and uh, smoked wine I've never had. That sounds interesting. Uh, and maybe it means hadaliot. Dali means hanging. Ella means haroglot. Roglot from the word regel, feet. Umina kramim avudim. Okay, and from the kramim avudim, the that the the worked or plowed. We'll see in a second what avudim is. Okay, rogliot. You shouldn't from daliot. Vanim amudalot al gabe klonsot. Vines that were hung on klonsot are 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 pegs. The kanim it reads bohim in earth. If you do any, any if you know anything about vineyards today, every vineyard is mudalot. So it's interesting. They felt that it was better rogliot, kfanim shoshochot agabe karka. Right? The, the, the kfanim, they would let it, right? The vines don't naturally grow hanging unless you, you know, if you look at a vineyard, I mean, look, just look at it, you know, the, 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 the vines are planted in the ground. So unless you, we, they're naturally, we hang them today, but unless we hang, I guess, I'm sure that's the best way of doing it agriculturally. But in their time, they just didn't feel that way. They didn't think that way. So therefore, they wanted the ones, okay, that were rogliot, shochvot al gabe karka ve'in raglei adam, that they were standing on the ground, sitting on the ground, she'ena mudalot. And they shouldn't bring the mudalot, at, obviously, in their day, it's clear that they weren't wrong, but in their day, the hanging uh, vines didn't do as well. Omina kohim avudim, what does it mean? Avudim shnei avdu shtei pa'amim b'shana, they work twice in a year. Shechofrim svivot ha'kfanim la'pech v'karka, they were essentially plowing the area around Around the vine, shishar chibashar shehem near their roots. Bosimem gumot lashkutam. They make um, gumot are are troughs in order to properly water them. So you want to make sure that the vines were were that the vineyard was properly worked, and that would bring, of course, the best grapes for the Beit Hamikdash. We'll stop here. Dedicate our learning to the memory of my father, Arav Simcha Begitzchak Kalman. Make it a great day.